Hey guys, Noah's RC. I thought I would make a quick video. Um, it took me a while to figure out how to set the safe mode to a switch on my OpenTX radio. So, just so that you know in here, let's get out of this. And so I have my inputs here. What I needed to do is add this. I named it safe. It doesn't matter what you name it. Tell it that the source is channel 5. And you don't have to assign it to a switch or anything like that. Because when we go back, we're going to come over here. And we're going to go to our special functions. So as you can see here, I have this, my SC, which is this switch right here, my three position switch. I have all the way back set to override channel 5, because channel 5 is the safe channel on AS3X. So it's set to override channel 5 and set it to negative 100. And that's when the switch is all the way backwards. When the switch is all the way forwards, it's going to go to positive 100. And the easiest way for you to see that that's actually working is after you set those couple of things up, you can come in here and go to your monitors. Because before, when I would move a switch, my channel 5 wasn't moving. But it is now. So I know that that's correct. So when you, and you can do this at any time, at any time with the vehicle, uh, you can mess with this function after you get it set up as far as the inputs go. That's where the difference was. Uh, I, just to refresh over again, you need to create an input and you need to tell it that it has to reference channel 5, leave everything else default and then come over to your special functions and you need to make a special function to override channel 5 negative 100, override channel 5 100. So that's programming wise, that's all that you need to do on the radio and you can set it to whatever switch you want. So on the vehicle itself, the way that you do uh, safe mode is you have the vehicle unplugged, you plug into the bind plug, you know, your standard We'll bind, you plug that in, and that's with the vehicle unplugged. Put in the bind plug, plug the vehicle in, and as soon as the vehicle turns on, you immediately pull the bind plug. Then you come over to your radio, and then you go down. So you can see this a little bit better. Then you go down and you go to bind and then you would press this button once in a while. Within a couple of seconds, it will immediately bind to the vehicle. Um, and then you can immediately check this function as well. Uh, the cool thing is no matter what you have these channels set to, you could have it set to one to 16. As soon as you bind, it'll just say one to seven. So it sees what the receiver is and it auto sets how many channels that there are. And because we're just using one receiver, obviously, just zero, zero. Um, so anyway, put the bind plug in, then plug the vehicle in. As soon as it boots, pull the bind plug and go to your radio and click bind. Because the normal binding process is that you have the blind, bind plug in, you power the vehicle up, you leave the bind plug in, like you would any other time, and then you go to bind, and then it binds, and then you reboot the system. Well, this is different. Again, plug in the bind, turn the vehicle on, pull the bind, then come over here and bind. Then that will give you, uh, you will be entered into safe mode. And the way that you can tell that, I'll actually show you here.
You, you see how it moved the, con I, and I wanted to count for you. You see how it moved the control surfaces twice. It went dun, 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 dun. Okay, it would have only done that once if it was in normal mode. You know it's in safe mode when it moves all the surfaces twice. But now that we know that we're in that, but now that we're in safe mode, we can grab the vehicle and go like that. And you can hear the servos moving. You're not, you can't really see it that well, but it's automatically balancing the airplane. And then we can go here and we can go, don't do that. No servo movement at all. So just so you guys know on OpenTX, that's how you get that set up. Uh, there really wasn't much documentation online for this, for AS3X and OpenTX, at least as far as OpenTX on the Radio Master. There's a few things on there about the Tyrannus and the X7 and a couple other radios, but the TX16S, uh, this is how you set up safe mode with AS3X. All right, guys. Hope it's helpful.